Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Life is a Bowl of Cashews, where life is sweet, salty, and a little nutty. I am Brian, and I'm here with my co-host. You take it so serious. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> anyway, welcome to back, 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 back. Welcome back to Life is a Bowl of Cashews. Yes, but you didn't answer the question. I said, what? I'm Brian, and I'm here with my co-host. Oh, hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> It's nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Hello, humans. Everyone's just sitting there with bated breath. Who is this co-host? <laughs> we shall never know. I honestly didn't even hear you ask the question. Anyway, hi. Hi, everyone. Okay, so today's today's a serious episode. Yes, very serious. Wow, well, we got to Batman serious. I thought yes, it was more solemn. We're then. a Batman serious. <laughs> you don't understand all of the things that have been destroying my soul. Wow. Wow, <laughs> not that big of a deal. Anyway, today... But is it a bigger deal than saying that I'm Batman? That's my secret identity. I've been a Disney YouTuber forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is a... You know, that is a good cover-up. That would be a good cover-up. No up. one would ever suspect no, that. The Joker would be all like, I don't. I, I didn't think that at all. Yeah, because he'd be like, Haha, Disney bought Marvel. That's why I promoted them. Because nobody expects that from DC. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Only the nerdiest of people would understand that reference. It's not that obscure. It's pretty obscure, man. It's pretty obscure like your face. It's not that bad. Um, Did you hear me just make fun of you? Oh, yeah, but I'm just so used to it now. He said obscure <laughs> he is my gloss face. You over it. Okay. Yeah, because I'm so, used to it. This is what happens. I, I know did, you don't mean it. Of course not. I did a couple things today. One thing is um, during my ride back from a place... And as I was out driving, I decided to pull up the Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros. Yes. Podcast. For those of you guys who don't know what Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros was, we used to have a podcast before this one called the Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros. Where 2018, we... babe. It's still uh -huh. up. Yeah, it's, it's still, still up there. You guys can still go listen to totally it. We never took to it. it down. We had a lot of episodes. Yeah. Um, we were doing that for, we did that for like over a year. Almost, yeah. Mm -hmm. It About was actually, year. it was fun ish. Yeah, it well, was fun ass. <laughs> well, that's what we're here to talk about. Is we've had people ask us for years: is what happened to Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros? Why did it not continue? And today we are spilling all of the tea. We're just gonna put. All we're just gonna it. push the tea pitcher right over and just <laughs> all of it all over the table. It's gonna take like a big old towel to wipe yep. up. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a mop, a steam mop. Yeah, uh, a wet vac. We'll do all the things. And we'll talk we'll about all it. of it, and we'll talk about it from both of our perspectives because they were they were pretty different. Yeah, we had a little conversation before this on, so. Well, well we've, we've had, had a, plenty of conversations. I was about to say, we've had a because lot of conversations for, about this. <laughs> for years now. I can say years, because literally, it's probably about years. two years, people have been asking, are you going to bring the Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros back? Are you going to bring them back? Are you going to bring them back? And the answer is, like, a hard pass. Like, no, we are not doing that. That is not what we're doing. However. We have talked about bringing it back just enough to finish all the Disney movies, and then it would end. They'd yeah, be like then three we, or four episodes and we'd be done. But just then, to say we finished. But then it. we pretty much just said no. The, yeah. Yeah. No. But I thought we still had that on the table that if this did well, we would we would go if back and this, do that. I think if with this podcast we can definitely do that, but I have no want to do that. Okay. <laughs> but you but you know why. I know. So we're gonna We're gonna oh, get there. Oh, you look sad. I'm not sad. Oh. I didn't think we would be doing that right away, but at some we point- We could definitely do it down the road. Yeah, like down the road. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, totally I'm saying like in six road. or seven months, if oh, this is still a thing. Oh, yeah. I, this if, will still be a thing. Well, I mean, not the podcast, but I mean like the, if the interest is still there. Oh, heck yeah. I think that if the interest is still there, we could definitely do it. But yeah. I want to talk about how it, how, <laughs> why it went away, because people are very interested in it, and I don't know why. But like Brian said, we're going to kick over the tea. Here we go. Yep, we're going to knock it oh, all over. I'm gonna so I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you go first. I'm going to kick it over first. Oh, okay. Kick it over. <laughs> I wish we were filming that because that was actually kind of funny. He whacked his mic and it kind of spun around the <laughs> mic stand like it was about to fly off. I like it. So that was me knocking down the tea. Um, okay, so we started the Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros like 2017, 2018. Um, was what? it that long ago? It's been a long time, dude. Oh, my gosh. Um, when we started it, it was a great idea in theory. We we were doing it. Um, for me, and this is from my perspective, for me, 
I initially went into it with this concept, this idea in my head, and I, at the time, was not very good at communicating that idea well enough for Brian to understand. So he had an idea too. I had an idea, and the ideas never matched up. So it caused so much frustration. We both for went both in of with us. very different expectations. Oh, very different. Like night and day expectations. Yeah. No, they definitely were. So at the time, during that time, Brian was in, and I got permission to say this. Um, well, I'm Bri- also right here. You're not saying anything I'm not going to know true, about. <laughs> true. It's not like you can't edit this part out. Um, so during that time, he was going through a depression. I had to balance having a new kid, having two kids at that time. I think we were moving at that time. There was just so much happening. And with that so much and the idea that I had that was not working and clashing with Brian's idea – the podcast just started going downhill. Mm-hmm. It just started. It wasn't good. No. It was forced. That's what the word. I mean, I it think was the product, forced. the product at the end, I still think was pretty good for the most part. I think people were listening to yeah. it and enjoyed it. I mean, we totally yeah. got that. I, but I don't, it I, was forced to me. It was our experience making it was forced, not oh, the product itself. Yeah. Listening back to myself, I was like, Okay, I was not happy. Like, I was very upset because I w- I, I'm scared to listen to the old ones, to be honest. Because well, I feel you've like I'm just growing a lot. I have, which I'm very grateful that I have. But at the same time, I don't want to go back and relive a lot of what Brian was thinking and feeling in 2018. That was, <laughs> that was a dark time for Brian. Actually, the beginning of 2018 was, was actually pretty good. It was the end of 2018 and into 2019. Yeah. Things got bad. Yeah, no. It got, well, and this podcast I was listening to was the Pinocchio one. It was done in February. That was of one 18. of our yeah. That was one of our first yeah. ones. And it was okay, but you, I. That's when I, I think I started realizing like, okay, this isn't my my idea of what this should be is not coming to fruition. And your idea, I don't know. I felt I felt like I couldn't say anything and because I couldn't say anything. It wasn't. I was getting frustrated. No, uh, I, that's I, my. That was. A and it was. My side. It was the same on my end. Do you want to talk about what your vision was? So. I forgot my vision. <laughs> Isn't that sad? <laughs> God, I'm old. Um, my, my kind of vision for it. Was kind of like this. Yeah, you always wanted Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros to be very chill very laid back i i was the one who fought for the structure that we had and doing yes. all that yeah you and were yeah i i was a big instigator behind that part and i really wanted this i wanted a laid back not structured just a conversation between good friends mm-hmm. versus you know the structure of okay now we talk about the first we do the quote and then after the quote we talk about this and then the random fact of the day and then after that we have to talk about the movie and then after that we like everything was very structured and listening back to it i was like wow it was in the same format each time nothing was random nothing was it, it was fun but it wasn't oh, it was a that pretend was intentional. fun yeah it was intentional well i don't want to say it was a pretend fun it was a structured fun which isn't fun to me Right. But that's just me. But that's why it just wasn't working. So later in the in the months and the years that came or the months that came, I started kind of like, you know, I don't want to watch this movie. And I would tell you straight up. Oh, like, yeah. I don't want to watch, wanna this watch movie. most of them. There was a few that I just watched on my own. because yeah. You were like, I remember this movie well enough. And I'm like, well, I want to rewatch it for me. Um, we were watching every movie together. I think it was up until what? Fox and the Hound? Did I don't you? even remember. I remember we watched Fox and the Hound together because that was when you had not seen it, and you were very mad at that movie. You Around talked to me. Lady and the Tramp. You were very mad at that movie. Oh, you were ticked at I it. I was You're so hyperbolic. You were yelling You're at the screen. You're worse than I am, I no, swear. No, you were yelling at the screen. You were so it upset. probably was. I just don't remember. Anyways, yeah. continue. But yeah, um, yeah, we got... That was one of the things that I really wanted going into it was... I had heard how much fun that so many people had had um, just going through every single Disney animated film with 
another one of their friends or significant others or whoever, just another human being who liked Disney like they did, and watching them all and just, you know, that was an experience. And I was like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. So that was part of why I did that was because I wanted an excuse to do that with you, and that didn't really quite pan out. Cause... Which is super sad now that you say that out loud <laughs> and I'm actually l- really listening because – also, and I'm sorry for that because that's horrible. Well, I mean, it's I I was you trying, were trying to force to have a good experience. I was, but I was also trying to force something to happen because what that experience taught me is like you are a fan of Disney and stuff, but not the films. That's not what you care about. It's the parks, it's the cruises, right. it's the experiences, and that's totally fine. Which I'm gonna bring. So to piggyback off of that is yes. And yes, that you were trying to force that movie piece. And I just don't like movies like that. I you can't really get don't. into them. I, really we don't. have friends that love it, like Brian love it. Oh, we'll it. sit there and talk for I hours about it. You don't just care. Tune out. I watch a movie. I go, that was a good movie. And I forget about it. I don't care enough to go and critique it. But I also think, and this might be news to you. I also think around that time, my interest for Disney started dwindling. Mm-hmm. Because around that time, things started changing. I started changing and my mindset started changing. Yeah. So because of that, my interest for Disney just started dwindling. I like Disneyland still. I like Disney World. If I have ever opportunities to go, I definitely will. Cruising, stuff like that. Anything Disney related, they usually do it very well and I enjoy it. But my interest for Disney has very much decreased over the years. So we just started it at a really weird time and i didn't know at the time my interest was dwindling it's not like i was like oh but the more movies i watch with you not into movies so why am i doing this the then i kind of like i don't care about looking up disney park stuff i just don't want to then i was busy with the family then i was busy with my job then i was like i just don't care so it went from i want to do this within months i just don't care and Mm -hmm. i think you were heading in that same exact direction i i actually started off kind of opposite of that it was – I had a lot of pressure on me from uh, the YouTube uh, manager that I had at the time was pushing me to do a podcast. Uh, I kept seeing a lot of people saying, you should do a podcast. I kept getting emails from these podcast places like, hey, why are you not doing a podcast? And I'm like, I don't listen to podcasts. I don't know how podcasts work. I don't care about podcasts. Why do I want to make a podcast? And then I remember there was one day you came over to my house and you saw that uh, the group we ended up working with, Anchor, was sitting there basically saying, hey, if you want to make a podcast, let's make this happen. And you were like, well, why in the world are you not jumping on this? I'm like, because I don't want to do a podcast. So it's that mentality when everyone kept saying to do a podcast and like, well, you're such a you're such a, a. an audio based guy. It, it was something that never made sense to me, but it did to everyone else. So I had this pressure to do it. And Bippity Boppity Bros was the only way I could see it working uh, in a way that I knew I could deliver because I've watched every Disney movie. I don't know how many times now right. um, we would have a concept we would bring. And I remember I noticed you losing interest in it oh, yeah. pretty quickly because we were we were supposed to be alternating between who came up with the main yep. segment to talk about and I never did. No, you did like the first two or two or two or three times I asked. Right. But then after that I had to do everything and some of it was like just at the last minute cuz I wasn't expecting to have to do it. Right. And then getting you to watch the movies were a pain. Oh, that was hard. That was a pain. And then on top of that when we would sit down to talk about the movies I didn't realize at this point that you didn't really want to talk about the movies. That was a foreign concept to my brain that I'm like, well, you watch a movie. Obviously, you want to talk about it. Right. And then I realized, no, that's that's a me or a nerd thing. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I have friends who I can do that with, but we're all nerds. Right. And you're you're a nerd, but not quite like that. You're a different kind of nerd. nerd. No, you're you're a full nerd, just not in the same way that I'm a nerd. We're nerds in different categories. Right. But yeah, we're still nerds. And that was something that was just really hard for me to get around. So every time we did it, it just was more frustrating and frustrating. And then on top of that, I like like you mentioned before, I was in a depression. I was having a lot of issues with everything. 
I just felt like I was on a little hamster wheel just going nowhere. Mm-hmm. And just like the podcast was and everything else. And it was it was a struggle because I was the one in charge. And when you don't care and you're in charge. That's hard. That's not only hard. You can't keep that up. Right. And on top of that, I wasn't just in charge. I was editing this thing. I was putting mm-hmm. it together. I was the one who made our logo and our mm-hmm. images. I didn't have anyone to – I didn't I didn't have anybody make a logo for us. I made it all. So right. anything you see, Bibbidi Boppy Bros, I made. And if I can interrupt really oh, quickly. Oh, no, please, please. I will say that – I put all that work on you. Well, 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 I'm not asking. I'm not apologizing. Funny enough, well, I am, but I'm not. But I am apologizing. Like, ew, that sucks. But at the same time, and that's okay for me to say because ew, that does suck. But I'm also saying to you, like, you had all this work put on you as you were in a depression, as you didn't care, your motivation was gone. You had compassion fatigue. A lot of things were happening, and I didn't care either because I'm like, I don't really care about this at all. Like, this project's stupid to me. So let's just move forward with our lives, and I'm going to continue doing it because I think Brian wants to do it. And then, funny enough, Brian's thinking, well, I'm going to continue doing it because I know Paul wants to do it. So it's just like this, un- and we're not communicating during this whole no. time. So I'm trying to be like, I'm like, well, Brian wants to do it, so I'll just keep doing it. So I'm like faking it and obviously not succeeding. And then he's doing the same thing, and we're just like, oh. And then one day, I just, I think you or one of us came up to one of the, one of the other and said, this I think- is. I think I came up to you. I think you did. I think I was saying, all right, let's make up a time to go watch right. X movie that yep. we had to watch. And next. I said, no. And you were like, no, I'm just no, done. I'm I just done can't this. do it. Yeah. And that was it. I really said, like, no, no, I don't want to. Like, And then we had more of a far more open conversation mm-hmm. at that time yeah. on where are you? Well, I'm here. Where are you? Well, I'm here. Okay, so we're not. We, we can't do this right now. No, no we can't cool and and i remember we even said this was going to be like a temporary hiatus at first was a step yeah away. and yeah <laughs> what never, three years later we never now we okay so it was a disservice to the your fans your audience because we dropped it it wasn't even like guys we're ending this sorry and it I, was boom done yeah and i remember it's like we were really close to the end what we made it to like it was like two three movies left i think we were like at at frozen yeah, we had like we were there. Well, now it'd be about you know four or five extra right. movies on top of that, but still, we were really close to the mm-hmm. end, and we just we just couldn't do it because oh. that was that was really close to the time where I even stepped away from YouTube for a long time. Well, I had a lot of underlying time. stuff going on, and that was the thing. You know, you had to be cared for, and you had to be treated, and thank God you were, mm-hmm. and like you got the treatment. You you very much needed and deserved and so because of that you were in a far better place oh than i don't you were i feel like a completely different human being than i was back then. which i am thrilled for you for and so we so we drop the podcast and then we're like it's a hiatus well it turned into like two years during that time there was transition for both of us Oy. so we were we were experiencing a transition <laughs> Because, and I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I will say, like, but, Brian and I were going through the exact same thing at the exact same time. Oh, that was rough. And it was extremely difficult. Ugh. And because of that transition, we were – okay, like, it was hard. Plain and simple, it was hard. Yeah. But during that time, I came up with this idea of, like, well, you know what? We should do something. We should do something to bring this back. And that's when we developed Life as a Bowl of Cashews. However, it was a that Twitch was a, channel. That was. And it was a horrific mess of a Twitch well, channel. It, it was because, a, again, of me. It, it had nothing to do with you at that well, that's, that's point. That's well, well, that's not entirely that's true. Well, that's not You were true. still going through your depression. I was you were almost you were out was, of it. I was almost out of it, right. but I was still but there. But during that transition, it wasn't helping. No. No, 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 no. It no, was no, supposed no. to help, but it did not. Right. <laughs> So this transition did not help. And then I will say we did maybe two, three episodes of that. And then that died. So we're like, okay, so fast forward now. It's been uh, two years, right? Or a year. Since the 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 live stream? No, that was just probably just a year. That was a year ago. Yeah. Fast forward and we're still getting comments. 
when are you gonna do life is bu- or when are you get- we were now we're getting life is like now we're getting cashew comments and I we're- haven't gotten many cashews. It's oh, still no. okay. bippy it's- boppy. So people still Indians. know us as bippy boppy. It's fine. Yeah, they don't really so, know cashews yet. So people are still asking this, and I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, won't it go away? This thing just won't die. It's a zombie. You gotta like flush it down the toilet or something. <laughs> it just it doesn't go away. So with this being said, I'm like, okay, you know, or this being noticed, I was like, okay, what can we do? There's got to be something because I will say. Brian and I both enjoy working together. We do. But we had some issues that we still at that point did not flesh out. No. And when this came up, the podcast we're doing now, when we had serious talks about that, you and I had about three or four heart-to-hearts with each other to really make sure that we're not going to do what happened last time. No, we're not going to pull another one of those. No, because I'm done with doing those. Right. Right, right, right. Because, like I said, I'm a different man now. Oh, yeah, me too. No, no, no. We've grown I completely. Hate, I hated doing – I hated just dropping stuff after we just promoted. I right. hated doing that. But at the same time, you know, our friendship, our mental health comes first. Yep. And – I don't think that this hurt our friendship in any way. No, Bobby Bobby no, no, it, no, didn't no. it. it didn't hurt it. It didn't hurt us at all. It, if it, anything, it was a challenge. It revealed to things. It did. It, it, it wasn't a hurt. It wasn't harmful. No. It was revealing. I feel like our friendship was better afterwards than when well, it started. Far more communicative. Yeah, we're. Oh, we're, we might be a little too communicative. Yeah. At some yeah. Point. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which I guess is better than like, being no, not communicative. Yeah. I'm like, I'd rather have. Telling too much than not telling it, saying enough. Um, but I do want to make a note. I feel like uh, I feel like I unintentionally threw you under the bus earlier, which was not my intention. When Whoa, I was like, you do? Uh, when I said earlier, it's just like I was editing it alone. I was doing the. Oh, art. you weren't throwing me under the bus. Intent. I did. Like that's what you did. Well, I mean, yeah, but then I I don't want the audience to sit there thinking like, oh, Paul didn't even offer to help. No. He well, offered to help on occasion. You did offer to help, but I shut you down every two yeah. seconds because I I just didn't want uh, – this was not your wheelhouse. Well, This is not really what not, you knew. You, it was not my wheelhouse. I did not know it. But also at that time, your control over the oh. channel was oh, – It was insane. It was bordering dictatorship. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it, it was, I, I had to be in control of uh, everything. I couldn't let anything go. I, I it, it, it was it was suffocating to anyone who had mm-hmm. to work with me or do anything like that. And I, yeah. So that was it. Was less Paul not wanting to help, and me forcing him out of that role. So I want to make sure that that's very clear. Very nice of you to clear up. Thank you. <laughs> um, I I want to say like, in all, start of Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros, till now. We've grown quite a bit. Things have gotten 10 times better, thank the Lord. I wouldn't even say 10 times better. I'd say a higher number than that. It's true. But I will also say that coming up with Life as a Bowl of Cashews and kind of the the reboot here (laughs) is because we sat down, like Brian said, for four or five conversations and really laid out, A, what are we feeling about this? B, where are you in this? Where's What's your headspace? And having that conversation, Brian legit, and this would never have happened back then, Brian legit looked at me and goes, I cannot have this conversation until I think it was a week or uh, three weeks from now. And I said, yeah. oh, he gave me a specific date. He said, yeah. I, I'll even say, I think it was August 17th. He's like, that was the day. Uh, he's like, I can talk about this on August 17th. And it was like June or July, June. It yeah, was it July was, something. It was like two weeks, I think two right. weeks before that date. It was mainly because uh, you came to me, really wanted to talk about this, and you were very emotionally charged about it. Uh-huh. And I wanted to be sympathetic as much as I could, but at the same time, you were catching me right in the middle of like three brand deals, mm-hmm. just coming back from Comic Con, oh, me about to go to. Going on. There was so much going on. Where I I'm have like, really bad timing. <laughs> I have super especially bad because timing. we had had a, we had a talk about Just it had one. like three or four days before where I said right now I cannot talk about it <laughs> and what and do I so do four days came, later hey <laughs> and then I'm like do you not remember this conversation we had you're like no I'm like no, okay really sadly we could talk about it on this date and I did I waited <laughs> you did and didn't say a word and at that point uh we had we had a really good com- we had a couple of really good conversations and. 
And we really made sure to be really clear about what expectations we were bringing to the table. Because even mm-hmm. then, when this one was – this uh, Life is Bowl of Cashews was more your brainchild and Bibbidi Bobby Rose was more my brainchild. So – you uh you were more emotionally attached to cashews coming into this than I am than I was and i think you started to you started to feel a little bit of what that was like to be on the other side yeah. with that cuz you were uh you were very uh i'm trying to find the right word here <clears throat> enthusiastic you were very enthusiastic <laughs> And if my level of enthusiasm did not meet yours, it oh, turned into you must hate me then. Uh, yeah, it turned yeah. into that when I'm like, no, it's just this is new for you, well, and this is my job, right? <laughs> and, and let's talk about that for a second because any type of low self esteem or low self worth, when some when you come up with an idea, when you think for me, for example. I have very low self-worth when it comes to creative ideas. You really do. I do not think I'm the best at them. Now, well, no mind one's the you, best at them. Well, I don't think I'm good at it at all. Mind you, when I come up with an idea that I think is good and I present it and then someone shoots me down, my self-worth is like, I hate you. <laughs> and, well, and that means if you shot it down, you must hate me. You don't like my idea. And I... Oh, yeah. But, Every idea the is reason, like a precious little baby, baby bird. Right. And you got to nurture it, right? But the thing is this. I say this. So, one, people are educated around the fact that everyone and their mom experiences this low self-worth. Oh, absolutely. It's a thing. 100%. And when you experience that with somebody that is your best friend, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, someone you trust – You can talk to them about it. And I didn't. And now, mind you guys, I'm a therapist, okay? I should know this. I should be all like, okay, I'm going to go talk to my brother now because I can. But I didn't because even when you are – when you have somebody, even that you trust immensely, sometimes your self-worth and doubt just take over. Oh, yeah. And that's the end of it. It's over. You're yeah. not talking to anybody. I'm going to isolate. I'm going to leave. I don't want to talk about this because if I bring it up, it might be too much. Or if I bring it up, it might be a burden. Or if I bring it up, A, B, and C, you know, insert your thought there. No. I'm going to say right now, no. Talk to the person because as soon as I opened my mouth and I told Brian, here's what I'm, th- I, this is truly what I'm thinking. He's staring at me going, well, heck, you never told me any of this. And I'm yeah, like, and I didn't, I didn't know it. that's what you were thinking. <laughs> right. And then it was helpful for you to understand what I'm thinking because I had to explain to you. It's just like, okay, I'm not going to get as excited about this as you are. Not right. because I think it's a bad idea, but because this is the same old, same old world for me. It's like, right. oh, this, this is, is another it. piece of online content that I'm going to be making. Cool. Not – Oh gosh, this is another piece of content. It's right. like, okay, oh, cool. This is just this is another. This is part of my portfolio. Cool. Right. Whereas right. you, you don't get this kind of outlet all the time. Whereas for me, I have it multiple times a week, every week for my entire and if, life. If I took Brian and I put him in my setting, oh, where I, I have would no be, idea what was going I'd on. I'd be like, <laughs> okay, just another day. He would be all like, "Whoa, this is crazy, right?" Yeah, it's night, and so I get. I'd it finally figure now. out what half the acronyms you say mean. Right, you would understand <laughs> three, four of my acronyms. So I think, kind of wrapping this up in a nice little bow, is we had good intentions. Mm-hmm. We wanted to really make a good product, but timing. Experiences... I still think at the end of the day, our product well, was fine. Ti- timing and experiences had other things to say and dictate. I think the product was good. Yeah. I think I we got it out, but I, I think now that we're in different head spaces and our environments are different, I think that this product is going to be just very different. I'm not going to say I better. Agree. I'm going to say it's going to be very different. I, I think it's going to be better for the two of us. I don't oh, know if the yeah. final product itself will be better, but I know it'll be better for us, our mental health and where we our are, our friendship, yeah. our friendship in general. So, I mean, do we still do we still not know how to market? Yeah, we don't. We have no clue. <laughs> do we do we know what we're gonna well, do with this product? They, no, we really don't. 
We'll, we'll, we'll figure those things we out have, as we go along. That's We have ideas. Yeah. It's not like we have no ideas or anything like that. It's just, it's, you know, it's part of just how this world works is you, um, you do all as much planning as you can ahead of time, but eventually you're just going to get to the point where it's like, all right, we've made the product. We've done the best we can. And now it's time to move it on up. Like really quickly before we kind of tie this up is we haven't released a single episode of cashews yet. We've only no. made two. We've only made two. This is our second one. Technically. <clears throat> I mean, you might be not hearing this in order and that's fine. It doesn't need to be in order, but like, this is, this is what I'm saying is like, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what I'm I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where you were going either. But it I'm was like, going to be good. Gonna it was going to be all inspiring, guys. You missed out. Um, well, anyway, <laughs> that's kind of the story of Bibbidi Bobbidi Bros and what ha- and how we ended up here. Yeah, it was. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. So maybe one day we'll go through and finish it, but. We're we're gonna take some time with cashews first and just I, enjoy working together yeah. in a communicative environment where we both understand what the other one is thinking yeah. because we tell the other person yeah. what the other one is thinking. Yeah. Uh, so so really quickly, um, next episode, I got a random story or not story. I got some randomness that I'm gonna sprinkle in here to stir up the pot. Oh, some randomosity. Some random. Some randomosity. (laughs) That's gonna be. That's gonna be a new thing. Randomosity. That's going to be a That's new true. thing now. What we need to do is you I need to Jack record Black it. I doesn't like copyright strike I, I hope not. You need to record <laughs> that and just we can enter it in randomly. Randomosity! <laughs> I love that. We're going to make it, this a good product, I'll tell you. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Yes. This was kind of our story. Um, continue looking out because there's yeah. going to be some good product coming. Product? Product. I don't know why I said it. I have it no that idea why you said it that way. Either. Product. I don't even know what that means. I, it, well, well, it's, it's product. product so, you know. How do you say product in like French? Pro- you know? Product. <laughs> Le product. Le- how do you say it? Look it up. I don't. Why do I gotta look it up? Because I don't have my phone. <sighs> look it up. I want to know what product is in Born. French. Okay. Le. Le brode. I don't know. It's going to be with an X at the end. I know that. Watch, watch the X come in. Da na na na, da na na, da na 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 na. Produit. Produ- is there an X? No, it's uh. <sighs> so disappointing. So it's P R O D U I T. How do you say it? Produit. Produit. <laughs> is it le or la or? It doesn't say. Oh, just produit. Oh, it that's it. Produit. Oh, uh, le. Le produit. I like it. Le produit. Le produit. Le produit. Okay, well, I'm happy I figured that out. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in next week as we talk about randomosity. <laughs> I love that. That's good. See, be this one was fun because this wasn't <laughs> one that we tried to come up with ahead of time, like well, we, Bibby Bobby Bros. Stuff. No, we won't have this, to. Well, because the, cool the thing randomosity thing was a random thing yeah, in the that first. That was completely episode. random. Yeah, randomosity. I can't hit the notes like right randomosity. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Life is a Bola Kaya Shoes. Where life is salty, oh, he's gonna sweet, do it. and a little nutty. He just has to do it. I like it. Ah, it's fun. It's going to be great. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.